Now I'm going to talk about my experiences using InDesign. Firstly, I pulled out a draft because I'm um, getting used to InDesign uh, using the margins which you drag by using like using the sides to shape it and uh, if you change that, if you make more text box by going to the text box tool and changing the size of what you want and uh, then using it for like the font so if you want the font to be bigger you have to obviously make it bigger to wipe it and make it bigger <laughs> and then uh, I, I use the margin tools to get like, the right way I wanted it so I wanted vinyl up here and the question and answer there so I went to the textbooks tool, created a textbook there and uh, typed in vinyl um, and then after I had a fit around with a couple of the tools I did my actual, actual design which is here yeah, and to get the images I used uh, I got I took my images in, in a photo shirt and got them up and clicked file place and copied and pasted it onto the, the screen and then using edit I yeah I mean <laughs> no by that yeah by double clicking it I can change the size by dra dragging the corner and then going to object and fitting and fit into frame. Um, to get my font I used uh, the text box tool to get text box and use the size tools to change the shape sizes. So do you want to tell me about your experiences in comparing Photoshop with InDesign? Yeah, in, uh, in Photoshop you, can't, you can lasso the tool so you can cut out an image by going around it on uh, InDesign you can't so you'd have to, like I said, copy and paste, you can't just lasso it and go around the whole in the particular image you want. Um, also the font is a lot more, you can't use the font, the website to get your own font, you have to use the, what's given to you. In your experience, did you find it easier to use InDesign or Photoshop and why? Um, I think Photoshop is a lot easier just because you've got a lot more to use, I think, and because, yeah, just because it's got a lot more tools, so you can use the uh, lasso, which you can pick a particular part of the image, you can change the font how you want it, the background, you can use gradient, which can uh, half and half the colours, instead of just using it like sort of as a blank, yeah, blank. Picture. Did you find it difficult using InDesign because uh, you don't use layers? Yeah, I don't, yeah, using layers was a lot easier because you could switch where you wanted each layer. So if I, in, in Photoshop, you could put that one over that one or that one over that one, depending on what, which one you wanted. And also, oh, but on this one, you have to paste it over the top, so it's a lot harder. So what would you do in the future to make sure that you use new media technologies more effectively? Um, I'd use Photoshop, that would be one, cause just because it's a lot easier, but obviously on Photoshop you can't do double page spread, so it's, be, yeah, it's more efficient to use it in, um, in design.